Hi, so my name's Otto Fitzgerald uh, and the following are my responses to three questions uh, on the NinjaTune Sync Assistant uh, application. Thank you. So my first port of call would be finding out who the music supervisor is. Uh, I would then try and establish some kind of contact details like an email or even a phone number. Um, I would also try and find out the contact details of the assistant that is working on the piece of media. Uh, that just gives me another way in. Uh, so I'd also be really interested in uh, creating strategies for the artists on the roster. Uh, this would be to uh, evaluate loads of different monetization opportunities um and find out the best way of um find the best way of work, making things work for artists on an individual level i think uh acquiring sync deals completely depends on the music and the artist and uh i would love to create uh these kind of pieces of work to evaluate artists uh so attached to my email is something i worked on during my degree um it's a strategy for uh, the psychedelic artist Yuri Chibuchi, um, in which I uh, evaluated um, sync opportunities in uh, TV, games, and even in retail. Uh, so I achieved a distinction grade on that. Um, so if you'd like to check that out, that would be amazing. Uh, but that's the kind of thing that I would love to do. Um, so I'm concentrating on artists at an individual level and evaluating their opportunities. So having played music with independent artists my whole life, I know how difficult it is to make a living out of a passion. Uh, you know, artists can't rely solely on recorded music revenues anymore, and they have to explore different kind of avenues. And I see sync as a sort of way of circumventing this and uh, providing some much needed support to independent artists. Uh, so. I also believe that there is no better place to work in sync uh, than Ninja Tune's publishing wing. Uh, I think their dedication to representing the interests of the independent sector is something I completely uh, identify with. Uh, not to mention my huge passion for the roster. Um, yesterday I went and bought this little thing um, after listening to it relentlessly for the last two months. Uh, so to be able to work in sync uh, and to be able to work with artists that I absolutely adore would just be a dream come true. So I also think there's something just really magical about uh, when a song perfectly syncs up to a particular moment in media. Um, it exaggerates the emotions in the song and can really amplify moments uh, in the media. Uh, so... A great example of this is uh, Fight Club's use of uh, Where Is My Mind by the Pixies. Um, like snare, cracks of snares are uh, synced up to buildings falling down and obviously the, uh, the relation of uh, the song's title to the film's theme of insanity. Uh, I think syncing up moments to media is just one of the best things about sync. And uh, to do this with music that I love uh, would just be amazing. So for me, this is all about planning as far in advance as I possibly can. Uh, so I'm currently working as a student voice leader for the music business module at Point Blank. Uh, so this requires me to collect feedback from students about the course, um, put them into uh feedback reports and then give this feedback to um, the senior management team at termly meetings. So what I really try and do is uh, put uh, the deadlines into my calendar uh, but set them a day before they're actually due. Uh, so this means I never miss deadlines uh, and I'm also oh, I'm, I'm never uh, trying to do things last minute. Uh, so a way I try and be time efficient is by uh, asking questions to the students that uh, relate to certain 
topics that I'm interested in, such as assessments, um, equipment, and uh, their general welfare. This means I can input the information directly into the report, uh, into the subsections of the report, uh, without having to organise things later. 